Gamer dudes and dudettes, when it comes to keeping your gaming gear at peak performance, oh, the games people play, I'll tell you. Really? A, a lot of you game assassins seem to think that skill alone is going to get you into the victory lane as you go leaping from level to level, room to room, and world to world with little or no effort. Oh, Planet Rangers, you want to know a dirty little secret? Yeah, huh? Do ya? Do ya? You're not going to get there if your gear's all crapped off with gamer gunk, dust, chip dip, greasy, sticky, slimy game residue. It's a fact. Dirty gear doesn't perform as well as clean gear and may even crash and burn. Oh, no! I... You can't do it dirty. You gotta do it clean. And here's how. This stuff, right here, right here, this stuff, this is the good stuff, the right stuff, the dust-off stuff, the only stuff you should use to clean your gear. First, because it works, duh. Second, because when used properly, it's completely safe. And third, because it's the best stuff out there, according to experts, like me. Let's get cleaning. Now, the keyboard. Grab it sideways, kind of like you're going to play an accordion. Grab your dust off gaming gear duster for your kit, and holding the can upright, spray in short bursts as you work your way around all those nooks and crannies. Oh man, just look at all that crap flying out of there. There must have been an entire bowl of cereal down in there, and uh, enough skin fragments to clone yourself. When you're done spraying, take a swab for the tiny places, and then take this dust off gaming gear wipe and wipe off the top, the front, the back, and the sides so you kill all those nasty germs. Kill them all! Finish him! Keyboard is done, baby. Now the mouse. Same drill as the keyboard. Hold dust off LCD spray, give it a spray, and then a good wipe down with the dust off game gear swab and wipe. And you're all set. You may be saying you can skip the step because uh, you have one of those cool laser Mises. Lasers need to be cleaned too, so you're not off the hook on that one. Next, we move on to the screen. For this step, we've especially formulated dust off screen spray and dust off chamois. And let me tell you folks, it is not a paper towel and window cleaner. It is not that. It's totally safe for the screen and for you. you spray it on like this, wipe it off like this, and you're all set. Oh, and uh, you can spray on the acrylic parts, too, so they're nice and shiny. Mom would be so proud. <laughs> now, for the scary part! The computer! It's definitely worth another reminder for Mr. Safety. Now, make sure the entire computer is off. Not hibernating or sleeping, but completely O-F-F. -F, off. Thanks, Mr. Safety. CPUs have just a couple of screws that you can unscrew as you remove the housing. Your manual, uh, assuming you didn't throw it away like I did, uh, will show you how to do it. Carefully remove the housing and... It's alive! Welcome to the inner sanctum. This isn't so scary. We're not even going to touch anything. Grab your dust off gaming duster and blowing from the inside out, very important, inside out, spray the fan. Then, spray the motherboard and other components. Do not use a leaf blower. Do not use a vacuum. Vacuums can cause static discharge and could severely damage your computer. When we are done, we replace the housing and then we're just about finished. The last part of the cleaning does require that the computer be turned on. So, turn that baby on, man. Listen to it hum. Now, we're going to clean the optics on your CD, DVD, and Blu-ray player. Using the specially formulated dust-off cleaning disc, open the tray, slide it in, and follow the audio instructions. If you listen closely, you can hear giggling coming from the player. It's so happy to be cleaned. That's it, ladies and terminators. So remember, before you get your game on, get your clean on with dust-off. Keep it clean, keep it new, keep it dust-off for gaming.